everyone, what is up? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I decided to sit on the floor because I love me some ground. Alright, so on my channel we like to play this fun game where I try to guess your name and here are the list of names that I've guessed in previous videos. Let's do this. Erika, Emmy, Addison, Miranda, Jackson, Sky, Ernest, Janice, Trina, and Reese. So let me know in the comments down below if I just guessed your name. And if I still haven't guessed your name in a video yet, definitely leave a comment down below with your name because that's where I get literally all my names. And I also get names from old videos as well, so if you want more chances of being featured, definitely comment on other videos. All right, so if you guys are new to my channel, I started this 25 series a few months ago, and I have literally seen so many 25 DIY videos now, which is like pretty crazy. Please let me know, you guys, if you have seen these in your subscription feeds because I swear I'm seeing them all the time. But yeah, so this series was created with you guys to share with you DIYs on a certain topic. I spent a lot of time and effort trying to find DIYs that you guys haven't seen before because my problem is when I go on Pinterest, it's literally all the same DIYs. So these videos are an entertaining way to find what DIY projects you want to make this season. Also, today's emoji is the purple heart emoji, which means if you commented on my most recent Instagram picture, I will spam your photos. And if you commented on my musicallys, I will be a fet you. I put out a ton of 25 DIY videos, so I'll have those linked down below as well as on the screen at the end of the video just in case you guys want some more DIY ideas. So today's video is actually a collab with Lindsay Marie. She's also going to be doing 25 DIY Christmas projects and a fun fact, she actually literally just got engaged. So you guys should go over and check out her channel and also her engagement video because it is seriously super, super cute. All right, so give this video a thumbs up if you have a thumb and let's get into it. Santa belt buckle hat. Now this is definitely for someone who knows how to knit or you know, maybe you could take it up as a hobby starting right now. But this hat is so cute. Oh my God, you guys, look at this little mini hat. You can make this for a younger sibling, your niece or nephew, cause it's adorable. Christmas bath salts. I really like how they alternated different colors. You know, you got the green, you got the red, just like my shirt. Holiday tote bag. You guys, this bag has an adorable reindeer on it. You know, which is very Christmassy, very cute, very brutal. Printable Christmas tags. Do you have a printer? Do you have ink? I feel like that last question was a touchy subject. Ink is hard to come by. Bee wax candle. So this candle is very simple looking. It's very modern. I feel like I say the word modern in a lot of these Christmas videos, but I swear there's so many like very modern DIYs. Also Bath and Body Works candles are kind of expensive real talk. Like I know you can get them for $12 sometimes, but seriously, that's still expensive in my mind for a candle. Bath bombs without citric acid. I know that some people are definitely more into the natural route, so this might be a great idea for them. Pom-pom Christmas sweaters. You guys, these are so freaking cute. The fact that it says snow and then these little pom-poms represent snow, that's genius. And then also this little pom-pom tree. I need to make this. Holiday memory matching game. This is definitely a great gift for kids. I know my nephew is so into matching games, like it's kind of insane. Cat toe flats. I actually used to own a pair of cat toe flats and I wore those, you guys, oh my god. Past their due date. The cats were falling apart so much that it started to look like a dog. Dog toe flats. Wire vase. This thing looks like it should be in museums in New York City, London, and Florida. You guys, I would actually genuinely love to make this, love to receive this, I don't know. I love it how it's black wiring and then you have the pop of the flowers. It just looks so cool. Fruit macaroons. So macaroons are very, very popular. I've only had maybe three in my lifetime. I really enjoy the texture of them. They just kind of have this cool thing going on. I don't know. Magnetic tote bag. This thing is so cool, you guys. I have seriously never seen this before. You know, put your keys on there, put a few magnets. What else would you put on there? A granola bar. I mean, cause that's probably magnetic. Doily stamped bowl. This DIY is so 
classic, it's so pretty, very elegant. And I think that it would be a great idea to make for someone who has a lot of jewelry, or they could even just put this on their coffee table. All right, so my camera battery actually died and it really came out of surprise. It went from three to two to one, like so quickly to the point where I'm thinking it's broken. Also, it's nighttime now and I just plugged in my ring light and I'm sitting on the floor and the ring light's kind of far away from me and I feel like the lighting looks really good so that's like better than when I'm just standing in front of it. Also, by the way, if you can hear a sort of sound that is me cooking pizza. Frozen pizzas were on sale for $4 and I mean, that's kind of a bargain. And what can I say? I'm a garage sale gal. All right, so let's get back into the list. Hand warmers. If you have a friend or family member whose hands are always cold for some reason, maybe it's the snow, maybe it's the fire. You can make them some hand warmers and these are actually so cute. Like they have some different arrows, they have some plaid, they got some dots. Pizza puzzle, oh my God. I think I saw pizza puzzle on this list and then my brain was like $4 frozen pizza and then my hands were like, here's the oven. And now that thing's cooking and it's probably burning. And when I cut it into four slices, that is technically a pizza puzzle if you ask me. Not sure if you asked me though. Dog silhouette pillow. Now, I remember when I was in elementary school, we did these silhouette art things and it was a profile of our face, so this is kind of the same thing, although it is for a dog. Personally, I absolutely love dogs. Every single time I see a dog, I just smile and I'm happy again. Embroidered photo art. This is straight up beautiful and I actually want to make this. I really enjoy mixed media, which means just kind of doing different elements, whether that's paint, photography, yarn, just all these different kinds of things mixed together. Also, I should probably go turn off the oven because I don't want this to turn into the black pizza challenge. Nail polish pasta necklace. Wow. Takes the cake or the pasta, spaghetti, bolognese. Alfredo is also a name that I haven't guessed in my name guessing game. Leave it in the comments down below. Gold leaf paper mache bowls. These are absolutely stunning, you guys. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love all these like gold leaf DIYs. I'm not really sure if gold leaves are expensive, but it sounds like they would be, so I don't know, try to get coupons. Homemade cat treats. This is actually a really cute idea for someone who has a cat or a dog. Like you can make the owner a bunch of homemade treats. I don't know, I think that's actually so special and the person will really appreciate it. Embroidered gloves. You could make these and give it to the same person you're making the hand warmers for, you know what I mean? Like just really take care of their palms. Also throw in some hand cream, you know, maybe some sort of hand perfume. Is that a thing? No, but that's gonna be my first business. Dip dye dog leash. If I had a dog, I would actually be so elated if someone DIY'd a dog leash. I mean, come on, that effort is high. And you could even put the dog's name on the leash. You're just going the extra mile there, really impressing the owner and the dog. You know, depending on what one you want to impress. Whatever one is more famous, whatever one has more credentials. Crushed glass coasters. I don't know why, but I literally couldn't say that sentence. It wasn't coming out. I had to add like some awkward half second spaces in between the words. But anyways, yeah, so crushed glass coasters. Because why not put a glass on a glass? Let me know in the comments down below what you would put in your glass on your glass coasters. I would probably put in some Coca-Cola. Surprise ball. So if you are giving your gift to someone who likes to open stuff, you know, they actually like surprises. By the way, I love surprises. I don't understand people who say they don't like surprises. Like, don't you like to get mail? But yeah, I don't know. This is really cute and fun and you could put anything in there. Like literally a surprise ball inside a surprise ball. Wow. Or a wedding ring. Yo, great way to propose. Road trip artwork. This is actually a great idea if you're buying a trip for like your significant other or like your mom, your dad, your sister, your friend, and you can like give them this gift and it can be a road map and the person's gonna be like, what's this? And then you're gonna be like, girl, we're going to California. And then you go to California. Do not forget to enter my giveaway. I will have that video linked down below, but it was literally the video that I posted like yesterday, I think maybe. Also, do not forget to comment this emoji on my most recent Instagram picture if you guys want me to spam your photos 
or if you post this on my Musical.ly, I will give you a BFF. I'm gonna have my other 25 DIY videos linked on the screen as well as in the description box if you guys wanna go check that out after because there's tons of more DIY ideas. Alright guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye!